I'm Kevin Morin. I'm the founder of the MarkSet bot, which is the autonomous mark that's sitting behind us. So this is version three, but there have really been a lot of versions. The, the first one was about this big. This is the third version of the full size hull. And it, uh, it's been very incremental of getting feedback from people who use them. First really big client was Yacht Club de Monaco and they've uh, truly embraced it. They care tremendously about the environment and so they want their motorboats to be battery powered and they want their marks to be battery powered and so they've embraced it from early on. So we have two batteries. The first is a 50 amp hour battery, that's our standard one. And without current, that'll go 10 to 12 hours. And if you do the bigger battery, it's twice as big, so you'll get 20 to 24 hours of battery. Uh, and this has been really interesting on the project. So as you see waves coming, you would think they would hit the object and move it, but they don't. They just lift it up and it goes back down. So we haven't seen much of any effect in waves at all. So one of the keys of both Markset Bot version two and then to a whole other degree with version three is portability. Version two had an aluminum hull that took about an hour to assemble everything. And version three, you inflate three areas and it's ready to go. And so in a standard sedan, you can put three Mark Set Bots and to that end, you can also take them on a plane with you. And so when I flew to Switzerland for the interview, I had one in my luggage unpacked it and set it up. About half of our customers take the app and they send it somewhere, and the other half motor up with a rib, pull the bot onto their hull, and then go 25 knots to the, to the race course. And so we underwent a huge process to make an entirely new motherboard and chipset that supports the US, Russian, and the EU satellite system and we finished that last week, so it'll go into production in the next four weeks probably, and that particular one gets three times the amount of satellites. And so in a place like Switzerland, or in Lake Garda with steep mountains right next to the racing area, for all European customers, we're going to be giving them the new chips and taking the ones that work best in the US, we're gonna take those back and give people this one, because honestly, it needs to work 100% of the time. They would normally have to pay for that outside of the warranty, but that we're making an exception on this and we're gonna make everybody happy.